Supposing you wake up in the morning, and it's a lovely morning. Let's take today, right here and now, here we are in this paradise of a place. Big Sur. And some of us have got to go to work on Monday. Is that a problem? For many people it is. It spoils the taste of what's going on now. When we wake up in bed on Monday morning and think of the various hurdles we've got to jump that day, uh, immediately we feel sad and bored and bothered. Whereas actually we're just lying in bed. <laughs> so the Taoist trick says, simply live now and there will be no problems. That's the meaning of the Zen saying, when you are hungry, eat. When you are tired, sleep. When you walk, walk. When you sit, sit. Rinzai, the great Tang Dynasty master said, in the practice of Buddhism, there is no place for using effort. Sleep when you're tired, move your bowels, eat when you're hungry. That's all. The ignorant will laugh at me, but the wise will understand. And so, also, the meaning of this wonderful Zen saying, uh, day, that's the character for the sun, day, that is, good day. Every day is a good day, <laughs> on condition, you see, that they come one after another and yet there's only this one. You don't link them. Things just do what they do. The flower goes poof and people go this way, go that way and so on and that's, that's, that's what's happening. It has no meaning, it has no destination, it has no value. It's just like that. And when you see that, you see it's a great relief. That's all it is. But then when you are firmly established in suchness, in that it's just this moment, you can begin again to play with the connections. Only you've seen through them. And, but now you see uh, they, they don't haunt you because you know that there isn't any continuous you running on from moment to moment who originated at some time in the past and will die at some time in the future. All that's disappeared. So you can have enormous fun anticipating the future, remembering the past and uh, playing all kinds of continuities. This is the meaning of that famous Zen saying about mountains are mountains. To the naive man, mountains are mountains, waters are waters. To the intermediate student, mountains are no longer mountains, waters are no longer waters. In other words, they've all dissolved into the point instant, to the kshana. But for the fully perfected student, mountains are again mountains and waters are again waters. <laughs> 